Nocebo effects refer to newer worsening symptoms that develop following placebo treatments. More broadly, nocebo effects arise in response to negative health-related information, beliefs, and or experiences that lack any specific biological impact on health or illness, but can nevertheless influence outcomes through their contextualized psychosocial significance. I did a post on Instagram yesterday talking about how certain cognitive complaints such as memory impairments um, can be related to psychological issues versus actual brain injury or injury to certain areas of the brain. Many people think, oh, I have a memory impairment following concussion. However, in many cases, when these people undergo neuropsychological testing, they actually don't have any true memory impairment. So this is often a misattribution of symptoms, meaning that they believe that the memory impairment they're suffering is an actual memory impairment, but it may just be inattention or it may be... Um, um, yeah, basically in, in, in just inattention. They're not thinking about what they wanted to be thinking about and they forget something or they forget to do something. The example I always use is I'm at work. My wife calls me saying, hey, we need avocados. And I go, yeah, okay, no problem. I'll pick it up on my way home. And I go about my day. I'm doing stuff. I'm talking to people. I'm in meetings. And then I leave and I drive home and I go home. And as soon as I open the door, she goes, did you get any avocados? Right? Somebody in the concussion state or post concussion state often thinks, oh my God, my memory. My wife told me to get avocados and I forgot. I didn't forget that she told me. I still have the memory of her telling me. I just forgot at the time because on my way home, I'm thinking about all the other random crap that happened throughout my day. So it's a misattribution of symptoms potentially, which then is more amenable to you know, potential psychological intervention and getting at kind of the root cause because oftentimes that will be uh, misattributed to stuff. So anyway, got a lot of a lot of feedback, a lot of comments on that one. Uh, a lot of people um, upset by the fact that I was alluding to that. However, this is just the research, right? I'm just presenting the research. I try to be as evidence-based as possible and I don't want to necessarily minimize what people's experiences are, but I also want people to realize how powerful your mind is and without um, exploring that as a potential cause, you're actually just holding yourself back from recovery, right? Going down the path of continuous cognitive-based rehab when you don't have a cognitive problem is not going to be beneficial to you. Right? Which is why these studies demonstrate that psychological intervention is actually superior to cognitive rehabilitation in many of these cases. Okay? Now, a lot of people again throwing throwing hate my way because of that. I'm just bringing the research to you.